your video on. <laughs> Let me see if I remember what she looks like. I know it. It's me. It's me. It's hey. so nice to see your smiling face. Thank you. Nice to be seen. <laughs> It takes more prep work than it used to, doesn't it? <laughs> Most definitely, it does. It does. What do you, do, what do you talk about? <laughs> me, me and Tony are ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, we got a nice group on. Elsa must be in the house. Nice. I'm right here. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Elsa, your mom's still doing well? She is, she is. She rang that bell last week, so i uh, very happy. Well, that's certainly a praise. You know, we've all had our thoughts and prayers, so. Thank you. Important. Appreciate it. Guys, we're going to give everybody a couple more minutes to get on, and we're going to get rolling. I know you're busy today, and everybody's right, ready to go sign up listings and write contracts, and uh, this is the time. I love it. Yeah. I'm, I'm as excited right this moment as I've been in a while. I think it's a great time. Hey, Dalton, nice to see you. Yeah, Sam, how are you? How are you? Doing good, doing good. Good. Dalton, I think you'll get anybody that uh, sends you a nice referral to Pauly's Island, you'll take them out on a red fishing trip or a duck hunting trip or a walk on the beach. You got a lot of good, good incentives down there, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. I like it. It's no more falling off the roof. That's yeah. right. Yeah, we uh, I don't have to space Ellen anymore, so I'm good to go. <laughs> no <laughs> more roof falling. <laughs> Dalton was playing, doing a good gesture for one of his neighbors uh, about, I guess, about three or four weeks ago and got on the roof and uh, lost some footing. So it I think, <laughs> fractured his foot. And so we don't, we're going we gonna to keep him on the ground. That's right. That wasn't the same foot that you had the cast on, was it? <laughs> That's kind of the reason I fell off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. Good, 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 good. Hey, Taylor. Good morning. How are you? Doing good. Good. Is that the good looking brother? <laughs> I'm the good looking brother. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Hey, Sully. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Got to find that mute button. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> hey, Petey. Hey, Eddie. How's it going, Gramps? Good morning. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you three times. <laughs> That's so cool. It is. Uh, I'm getting ready to do use the transfer portal and get me a couple more, couple more boys so I can get a little boys basketball team together. And get me a couple. Maybe I'll go see Don Staley and get some real ball players. So. Uh, <laughs> Are you feeling better? I am. We um, Renee got clearance uh, this morning. We I went. We all tested again. Macaulay's making a super test before we go see the baby because. Unfortunately, last weekend I gave uh, Beckham COVID, so uh, that mm -hmm. makes it a little bit apprehensive. So, yeah. Yeah, good looking Somerville office. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, Petey. Your billboard looks really great. Oh, thanks. We uh, we cackle every time we drive by it. <laughs> I tell you, nothing like having your face giant picture of your face in the in the community. It looks awesome, though. Thank you, but it, it is totally weird. I, it I is weird. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I'm going to try. We're doing it in celebration of 20 years in real estate, but we're going to track and see if we get any business from it. I mean, vanity advertising, you just, it's kind of hard to track. It's very hard to track unless you have a, a unique phone number on it or, you know, people see it and you get lots of great impressions, but it's very difficult for them to connect Mm -hmm. to connect it to i saw the billboard i picked up the phone i called you it's it is tough yeah but yeah. you may see an increase in your business which will be great of course yeah. and you're right you it's, it's unusual it's, but it's a it's a memory branding and it's one that continues to reinforce um golly about 20 years ago we put up a billboard coming into chapin on the right hand side with renee's picture on it and we would be in restaurants and little children and, and adults would be pointing at her 
<laughs> they've been trying to figure out how they knew her or where they knew her or because they knew her and um and she went to went to church uh i think it was 60 days after she did and two little girls came up to her with a little pad and said can we get your autograph <laughs> oh. and uh and so you know to listen to this point it was always interesting you couldn't it couldn't always tie it to a particular transaction, but you could certainly tie it to, you know, brand awareness, facial awareness. And over the years, we really realized how much, I mean, we had people after the billboard went down two years later, come in and say, you know, golly, mama, I love your billboard. It's awesome. I saw it last week and Renee's going, I think I hadn't had that billboard in two years. And so <laughs> uh, pretty crazy. Awesome. Yeah. Well, good morning, guys. We're going to get started here today. We're very excited to have everybody. Um, you know, a uh, little update on the Wilder, 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 Wilder household. Um, Champ was born on the 5th. Uh, he is extremely healthy. I want to thank everybody for their kind Facebook post. Uh, we got some uh, really nice, we probably got some flowers and notes and uh, mom and dad and, and baby Champ are all home. They're doing well. Um, my wife and I uh, contracted COVID on the 3rd. So uh, we were have been banned from going to see him. So be uh, be ready to get um, indoctrinated uh, very heavily over Facebook pictures of me and him and Renee and him, and uh, we're so excited. But uh, they are they're they're doing beautifully, and he is growing, and uh, it's been a special time for our family. Uh, we did Renee and I both got full clearance uh, this morning on testing negative, so we're gonna be able to hold him. And, you know, and that's the, the, the inside personal great news um, that COVID is something else. It's uh, my second time to have it. I want to talk to you a couple of minutes. Um, Bradham and I flew out to Colorado Springs on our, our annual trip that we go to a, a program called Gathering of Eagles. And Gathering of Eagles is the top 500 companies in America to get invitations to come out. And um, it's funny as you go from year to year to year, how that message and how that temperament changes. So, and, you know, last year was crazy in a completely different way. We went there last year and, you know, homes were selling, you know, 14 offers, 20 offers. How do you manage it? How do you move your business? And I'm gonna be real honest with you. It, it was, it, it was so, the business was so crazy and so busy that it, it was funny hearing all the unusual answers we had. And I, you know, I was I was very um very anxious about going out this year. Matter of fact, Renee said, you know, the baby's coming. I really don't think you need to go. And I looked at her and said, I've got to go. I said, I need to hear what's happening, not just from my peers, but from some of the industry leaders. I really need to see what they're seeing, seeing what they're forecasting. And um, and I got really two varying uh different groups I saw. I saw a group of people that were lost. And, and somewhat a little bit negative and, and, and somewhat not understanding where they needed to go. And then I saw a whole other sector of people that I have known for years, 25 years. And some of the people that I know have been some of the best business practitioners from Atlanta to New York to New Jersey to California. And those people came in there with eyes of opportunity. They came in looking, saying, you know, the market is shifting how can I turn that into an advantage for me, my company, and, and what does it really mean, and, and where are those opportunities? And so as, as uh, Larry Kendall, that many of us know and hold dear in our heart with Ninja Selling, matter of fact, a little billboard here on November the 7th, we're going to have a, a, a Ninja class in Charleston, South Carolina. We've got 50, 50 to 60 seats available. Um, we will have an open forum. So last time we had people from Oregon, Hawaii, all over the country that came in. Um, so if, if you might want to do that, but he gave probably one of the best presentations that I, I'd ever seen him give. And he didn't get up, up rattled. He went back to going back to basic fundamentals and he used the word shift. And I thought it was a very appropriate word. I think we all had to be prepared to shift, you know, and he came back to the same old principles that we heard with Larry Kendall over and over, get closer to your client, you know, be the market expert. And, and those are things I'm, I'm going to talk to you about, about four different leaders. And they, all their messages came right in the exact same spot, just a little different packaging. Then, um, you know, Warren Buffett, uh, he was not there, so I don't want to mislead you there. But Warren Buffett, he was quoted several times, and, and I, love the, I love the quote, and I, I, I believe it in all my heart. It says, be aggressive when other people are scared, but be scared when other people are aggressive. And, and I'm going to be real honest with you. The past two years when I saw the, when we were in this market, and I saw this business going and I saw 
me sell two homes to an excessive amount I, that I ever thought I would get for either one of those personal homes, you know, and I saw you guys trying to do business, you know, part of it was cool, but part of it was pretty insane and crazy. You know, it, it wasn't any great business fundamentals. It was about who could capture that listing, who could get that contract in the quickest, who could come up with terms, who could meander through those 14, 15 offers. And, and it, it wasn't, what to, in my opinion, it wasn't healthy real estate. 25 years in this business, that is not my favorite time in the market. And for some people, it was. Some people, it was their first uptick because they made enough relationships and made some money they never would make again. But it's, it's not real business. It's, it's not the way this business is practiced over a long, long period of time. You know, so, you know, I'm telling you right now, with where the market has shifted, there's lots of people out here with fear. To my point, there were people that were lost at that conference that I don't think will ever get on track. But there were people who who came to seek and learn and, and, and increase their skills and crafts. And, and they saw it as a complete great opportunity. Tom Ferry got up and he's one of my favorite. He's always so full of energy and you never know what's going to come out of his mouth. And I mean, he was on fire and he, you know, he got up and his word was pivot. Are you ready to pivot? And, you know, are you, and, and he got up directly and said, are you ready for the future growth? And, and everybody, you know, a lot of that room was saying, what do you mean growth market? The market's going to be off 10 to 15%, but not for some of us, for some of us, this is going to be the best two years to get ready for the next 10 years that I think are going to be amazing. And then we had, um, and I, I apologize for Logan now, but Housing Wire has a chief analyst and his name is Logan Matza, whatever. And, and, uh, and I, I, can't, I would kill that name. And he got up with great confidence and he was talking about why the market is shifting and why the market is adjusting and, and that there is a real opportunity for those that are good students of the game. And it was one of the, matter of fact, I'm talking to him now about trying to come in and do a presentation for us to give us all these charts and numbers and graphs because I, I think it's really, really important that, that we, we know our numbers. But those were four very differing uh, leaders in our industry and all of them were talking about opportunity. They weren't talking about pivot to, to save your high. They were talking about pivot to growth, pivot to get position. Um, we have, we, this is not my first time to go through this. And uh, I, think it's, I think when he got up, he said, how many of you guys have been through one? How many of you guys have been through two? How many of you guys have been through three? This is my fourth one. Market, market disruption. And um, I'll tell you, in 08, when it happened then, I wasn't prepared for it. I was growing so fast. I was doing all the things that were in that moment. I wasn't ready for the other component. We've been working on this now for 12 months. We've been looking at this, knowing that this is coming, knowing this shift in adjustment, that, it, that this could not be a long sustaining normalcy and, and, and how can we get there? So we started looking at services and products and lead generation and and training and education and, and restaffing and, and things of that nature so to get, we could get ready. And we think over the next two years, while some of our counterparts are going to be trying to figure out where to go, if you take this ride with us, we're going to do some pretty cool things. And for those guys out here and girls out here who really want to, want to move their business for the next level, it's a really good time. So I'm going to tell you, guys, hear me. I think we've got two years of shift or pivot or, or fear, don't be afraid, be prepared. Because we have a chance right this moment to set our next 10 years, the best 10 years you're ever gonna have. And it starts now when the world's starting to tremble a little bit. You know, some, some of us guys like Miss Kitty and, and, and Mike and myself and Tony and Lucinda that have been around this world a while, we've seen this before. And, and so it was real important. You know, I think last time when it happened, we started looking at this thing very, when it was actually cracking and happening. This time we got 12 months ahead. Maybe next time we can do it 24, 24 months ahead. So what I'm gonna tell you right this moment is get ready, get ready for, for to work and do the right things. And I'm gonna give you a couple tips and then we've got some people following us that are gonna to talk to you about market information and we'll talk about products and NERA. We'll talk about some new alliances that we have going on. And those are just scratching the surface of where we're gonna go with this. But um, because because think about it. take five seconds and last year when you got when you listed that house you were so glad to get how easy was it to deal with that seller how easy to deal with that 14 offers how to deal with it with those declination letters how easy was it through to get through all the processes of, of contracts falling and not qualifying and not approving and you know so, so, 
It wasn't easy. This, this, to me, this is the best time. This is the time when we can really bring value. Um, the, um, and the question I have for you is, will you capture the moment? Will you go in and capture the moment? And, and guys, look at it this way. Six, over 6 million homes sold last year. If the market drops 10%, that's 5.4 million homes. How many do you need? How many do you need in your book of business? You need 10, you need 20, you need 50, you need 80. And, and we can build, we can build a, a better opportunity together. So when we, we bring training to you, we bring education to you, we bring new products to you, grab a hold to those, internalize those, use your brokers, use your managers, use our marketing team. You know, we just hired our first videographer and we're so thrilled to have Casey and you're starting to see some of those videos come out and you're gonna see lots of cool content coming out in the future. You know, we're not tucking and running. We're hitting it head on. We, we want to make this happen. And so a couple of things you need to know from me, please. Um, know your market. If you don't know how to know you, to get your market, there are agents in your office. There are brokers in your office. There are leaders in this company that will help you sit down and understand and dissect those numbers. Look at what's going on. It's not a one-time set of numbers, guys. This, this needs to become part of your habit. This needs to become who you are. This needs to be, help, you, help you become the expert. The next thing is manage fear because there could be lots of people out here who are uncertain. Oh, I just bought my home. Did I pay too much? Oh my God, can I afford a home? Oh, you know, you know, and, and, and we think interest rates are going to tick up. We think they're also going to tick back down. So we're going to see a, a little tougher ride with, with inflation, but we also see, we believe that interest rates will settle back down and people will start doing some refinancing. So, so, so be the market expert, manage that fear. I was with a gentleman yesterday interviewing him and I was asking him about his business. And he says, I never change my conversation from here. He said, every time I'm talking to a client, he said, I don't get overly excited I, I, for, for good or bad reasons. He said, I, I bring knowledge and information. I get that, comf that customer comfortable doing business with me. I am their trusted advisor. And I thought it was, that was amazing wisdom from a guy that's, 20 years my junior and I, I and I love those words and I loved it at that part of his career he had he had settled in and understood that he was the one to manage the process think about that person in your in your business whether it's your your doctor whether it's your lawyer whether it's your banker whether it's your life coach who is it out there and are, are you providing that same service people need us to be not overly emotional they need us to come in and, and bring a lot of strength so we need to manage for fear. We need to manage for uncertainty. We need to manage for anxiety. And sometimes we have to tell people, today is not your day. And they, they will respect you for that. We also need to have solutions for them. You know, and you need to, um, you need to become the, again, you need to become the trusted advisor say, with these people. The other thing I will tell you is know your elevator speech, know your message, know your market. You, it, it, you don't want to try it out the first time on a brand new client. If you're working on your message, go to your spouse, call me on the phone. I need a friend, you know, zoom me, bring me in. There are plenty of us that will listen to you and help you build that elevator speech. And this is not a bait and switch. This is the truth. This is who you are. This is where you carry in your market. This is what you go do for that client for the, not just the transaction you're doing today, because we want the transaction going over and over. We want their friends and family. We want, we want to build that book of business. And there's no more critical time for you to be that strong consultant advisor than it is today. You know, again, you got to have a message of strength. Um, Larry Kendall said it very well. Get close to your clients. This is a time when you pick up the phone and you give them a call and you know your numbers. You're, you're ready to go. You know your elevator speech. You're speaking from strength. You don't have all the answers, but you have connections to get all the answers. It's the reason I went to Gathering of Eagles, not because I could, and I didn't want to read it on a book. I wanted to be with a group of people just like me that wanted to take advantage of the opportunities before us. That's what you have today. Um, so, guys, it's a pretty simple message. It's a message of strength. Tony, we're going to grow and make it happen. We're going we're gonna to knock it out of the park. We've got great plans out here. We've got great leaders, and uh, we're looking forward to going forward with you. I think uh, next on our agenda is Keep the Current Matter. So we're very, very excited about hearing that program. And um, I'll speak to you before we get off today. 
Awesome. And Elsa is going to introduce them. Um, before we do that real quick, I just wanted to welcome everyone that's new to the company. This is their first meeting. We are so very happy to see you and have you on the call. And um, please reach out to us so that we can help you grow your business today and, and in the future. So thank you for joining us today. And I'm going to turn it over to Elsa uh, to introduce Keeping Current Matters, who are back by popular demand. <laughs> That's very true. Uh, today, guys, we have David Childers with Keeping Current Matters. Um, he's going to talk about the market, uh, what's the market doing now, um, what's to come, and how to talk about it with your buyers and sellers. So, uh, David, we appreciate you being here with us and uh, sharing your wisdom and uh, experience and information. And I'm going to turn it over to you. You should have sharing uh, capability now. And um, I think I do. Welcome. Thank you Thank so you. much. It's good to be here with everybody. I'm grateful for the invitation and uh, a chance to, to just share a few minutes with you. And, and Elza, we have about 30 minutes. Is that right? Um, that, that yep. I'll use. I'll try, to, I'll try to talk fast. I'll slow down at points. Uh, I'll let you know this is, uh, this is special for me. Um, it was Kate on our team was going to deliver this presentation. She was going out of town. Uh, I told her I would do that. You'd go off and uh, she's going down to Myrtle Beach, not, not too far from y'all, um, to, to spend a few days with her family. But it's special to me for this reason. My dad grew up in the Florence and Darlington area. Um, just in the, in the market that, that y'all are in, I'm familiar with it. Every summer we would uh, go over there and I grew up in a little town outside of Atlanta. And uh, it's just, it's special for me to be with y'all today. Uh, hear that from me and you know, I was just listening of, uh, as you were sharing, Mr. Wilder, about the, you know, the, the gathering of eagles and everything happening in the market right now. My goal would be this for the next 30 minutes, to give you the information you need so that you can be the expert to the clients that you serve, okay? And, and I want to be honest right now. This is a hard market to be the expert, but I want to be really clear too, you can be the expert. Both, both of those are true. We, can, we can't be in a market that's hard and we can deliver expert advice in that market. So that's my goal. I'm gonna give all of these slides to you, Elsa. You get them out to everybody, use those wherever you want. I'm gonna talk about the national US market and, and, and I'm gonna encourage you to pull this information in the market that you're serving. Start pulling what's active on the market. What's the number of days things are sitting on the market? What, what's the average sale? Like, you know, Look at all of that information locally, but I'm gonna give you the national perspective because here's why this is important. Everybody that you work with is informed at the national level. That's what articles are written on. That's when they turn on the news. That's what they hear about. And so, we, we, we need to know both, but no doubt uh, real estate is, is, is local all across this country. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, hopefully you can see that. I've got, got a few slides I'm going to run through. Yep. And, and I titled this, How to Be the Expert in Today's Market. You know, and, and I think we're in a market right now that looks very different than the last couple of years. And I don't want to, uh, you, you know, just understate that. It was, it was so well delivered about the change happening in the market, the pivot happening in the market. But if I had to sort of make a change real quick, and I did that, I would retitle this presentation. And here, here's what I would tell you. I would title it um, uh, this right here. In times of uncertainty, people follow the certain. In, in times of uncertainty, people absolutely follow the certain, right? So my question to you is, all right, are you creating that certain path for the clients you serve? Are you stepping in as the expert? Because this is a market that will affect people's businesses. Some it'll affect negatively and some will build careers over the next couple of years. No doubt about it, no doubt about it. So let's hop in, let's talk about this. I'm gonna move kind of fast. If we wanna take questions or do that at the end, if we have time, I'm happy to do that. But, but I want to start off here. The first half of this year in our business certainly has been defined by rising interest rates. <laughs> and, and I'm going to tell you right here, you, you know, Logan from Housing Wire was mentioned, one of the best, you, you know, sort of economists and, and, and experts in the market out there. And, and many, many of those that we follow at Keeping Current Matters like Logan, I'll tell you this, people that are experts right now can't tell you what's going to happen a month from now, two months from now, or three months from now. 
we can look at what's happened in the past and we can say, okay, typically this is what has happened in this type of market. But while people can't tell you exactly where interest rates are going or where they're going to head up or where they'll be next week or whatever the case may be, I would argue I can tell you exactly what is going on. And, and because the Federal Reserve just told us about a month ago what they're doing. And I'm going to start right here. Came out from, from Fed Chairman Powell, his comments about a month ago. He said, I'd say if you're a home buyer, somebody or a young person looking to, to buy a home, you need a bit of a reset. I don't know if anybody saw that, maybe saw it on Instagram or a post on Facebook. He said, we need to get back to a place where supply and demand are back together, where inflation is down low, and where mortgage rates are low again. So I want to kind of break this down. What the Fed is doing right now is trying to use their influence, one, to bring the housing market supply and demand back together. All, all of their action right now, they don't control mortgage rates, but they can influence mortgage rates. And they certainly this year have influenced rates higher. Why? So that they can sort of moderate demand in the housing market. And, and, and again, if we were to get honest right now, many of us in the business have looked at the last couple of years going, this is not sustainable. The demand that's in the market, the price appreciation in the market, it is not sustainable. And so they are using their influence to get demand back together. And through the moderation in the market, we're seeing supply come to market. And I'll cover that here in just a minute. Second, where inflation is down low. You know, inflation came out yesterday higher than it's ever been, 9.1% in CPI. We all know it's an issue. We all feel it at the gas pump. We all feel it in other areas of our lives, but their work is to control inflation. Now, there are some issues with that. I'm not going to get into that, but this is a, uh, you know, an inflationary economy driven by the rise in energy prices, and the Fed can't control that. But listen, let's, let's talk about what we can control in housing. I would encourage you not to get bogged down in that, although that is true. And then once we can do that, we can get mortgage rates low again. If I was saying anything right now, low would not be the anomaly market of the last couple of years. We saw a 30-year fixed at two and three quarters. But I think once we get through this, like was said before, we'll start to see rates come back down again. Okay, it, it, you know, right at 6%, 5%, uh, wh whatever the case may be at any particular day or week, it's not bad financing in the long uh, you, you know, scheme of things uh, for long-term financing for a home, but it's certainly higher than we've been in the last 10 years. There are people that have gotten into our business or people that have bought homes that haven't seen interest rates as high as they are now. So, so we can deliver, okay, this is what the Fed is doing. And, and as, as your uh, consultant, as the person that you've entrusted buying and selling a home with, I'm going to guide you through that. Now, I want to say one thing before I, I get into the rest of this presentation. The biggest mistake that I see agents making right now is this right here. Getting caught up trying to deliver perfect advice versus expert advice. And I'm going to tell you, there, there's not a place in life that somebody can give you perfect advice. You think about going to the doctor, you, you know, heaven forbid you end up with a, a situation and you got something going on, you're going to go to the doctor and they're going to say, okay, we, we, we've done the test, we've done, uh, you know, the exam, here's what we see and here's what we're going to prescribe. They're going to give you the, 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 the expert advice they can give. They can't give you perfect advice because when you come back in 30 days, they're going to say, here's what we now see. Here's what we've been running the test, and here's what we're going to now prescribe. Same thing with an attorney. You, you, know, you end up or, you know, in a situation where you're, you're talking with an attorney, they can give you their expert advice saying, this is what we see. This is the case that we have, and how, here's how we're going to uh, present our case. And that's what we need to do. Here's what I see. Now, let me give you, Mr. Miss Buyer, Mr. Miss Seller, let me give you my expert advice based on your situation. Nobody's able to give perfect advice, but don't get hung up on that. So what would I say right now about inflation and interest rates? First thing I would say, you want to know where interest rates are going? Follow the 10-year treasury. For the last 50 years, the 30-year fixed mortgage rate has moved in unison with the 10-year treasury rate. I'd use a graphic like this. You can take a picture of it. You can keep it on your phone and you can say, this is what I follow. This is what I'm looking at when I'm thinking about you know, where are rates heading. And that'll give you an indicator of that. So that's number one. 
Nobody can tell you where they're going to be a week or a month or two months from now, but you can with certainty say what I'm watching is the 10-year treasury. You can pull that up and say, is it going up? Is it going down? Where are we heading? How is the market responding to that? And I'm not, I'm not you know, suggesting we all need to become secondary market experts right now. I would underscore this, this is a market that you have to have a great lender partner that you can count on, uh, that you can say, hey, I want you to talk to so-and-so and, and, and they will give you the best advice for financing your home. We're seeing a lot of arms back in the market you, you know, that folks are using to finance homes. And, and that's not a bad product. It got sort of a bad name back in 2008, but used the right way, that can be a very, very good product. But how do we finance the debt? How do we finance the mortgage the best way possible? Second thing I would say, in any inflationary economy, you want to be invested in hard assets. This is a look at going all the way back to the 70s, home price appreciation versus inflation on average each decade. And what do you see right here? Green is home price appreciation and blue is the inflation rate. On average, home prices outperform inflation. And you can go there and look and say, okay, they were kind of neck and neck there in the 80s. Well, the 2000s, uh, slightly inflation rate was slightly higher than home price appreciation, but we know something was up in, uh, in the housing crisis of the 2000s. And we're likely in a year right now where they will be neck and neck. But what do you want to be in an inflationary economy? You want to be invested somewhere in a hard asset that's going to um, you know, at least keep up with inflation. Certainly housing has proven to be that going all the way back for the last 50 years. And so what am I saying? I'm watching the market. I understand inflation and I wanna make you help, help you make the best decision for you and your family in the home that you purchase. But here's the bottom line. You know, we can talk about the Fed, we can talk about interest rates, we can talk about all this stuff, but the bottom line is and in, uh, until inflation peaks, mortgage rates won't either. And without improvement on the inflation front, we don't know where the interest rate ceiling will be. That's a quote from bank rate. Now, what I'm seeing right now is most folks saying, hey, I, I think the, the, the top end of this market in interest rates is in the sixes. But, but I'll tell you, we saw inflation came out, come out yesterday. If, if the Fed can't get this thing under control, they're going to have to do, you know, they're going to have to get more aggressive. And so we're going to have to watch that. But inflation is the enemy of long-term interest rates. And so I'd want you to keep that in mind as, you, as you're talking to folks about that topic. And, and you know, that topic of rising interest rates, while it's dominated our market, as we start to look forward, all of the, the, the headlines and everything that's being talked about in the economy is, you know, we've got to slow the economy down. We've got to bring inflation down. That's the reason the Fed is acting. Well, okay, that brings up the next question. And I, I think the number one question was um, said earlier, the biggest concern on people's minds is I don't want to buy something that's going to be worth less six or 12 months down the road. I think that by far is the biggest question. But the question is, when the economy starts to slow down, how has that affected real estate in the past. And I'm gonna show you a couple of things. I don't think they're gonna be surprises or things you don't know, but they're very, very good visuals to use with people as you have this conversation. So th this is a look right here at mortgage rates over time during recessionary periods. Each one of the boxes is a recessionary period in this country, again, going back to the 70s. That's what it looks like, you know, when interest rates very high in the late 70s and early 80s. We, we all, I think, probably know that in our business and the stories have been told uh, about that. Um, I wasn't around in the 70s, but been in this business for the last 25 years and certainly have seen many, many of these markets. But, you know, if we look at these recessionary times, we can say with confidence, OK, what happens during these times? And, and, and this is a look at what happens. This is each one of those boxes broken down into a time period, the range, and what happened in the mortgage rate. And they all have one thing in common. Every time in this country we entered into a recession, we saw mortgage rates come down. Now, I'm not here to tell you, I think we're going back to two and three quarter percent. Don't hear that at all. What I am saying is that as the economy slows, what the Federal Reserve knows is that the economy will not recover or will not pick back up until housing picks back up. The average impact of a home sold in this country is tremendous, and, and, and they know that. And so 
you know, this, this, this slowing down and, and sort of speeding up the economy, we want to do it the right way. They want to do it, you know, the, the best way they, they know how, and that's debatable. And certainly people have opinions about that. And I understand that. And I have my own about it as well. But if we look at our business right now, we can say, okay, in the past, typically this is how this happens. I want to give confidence to those that I serve about how I'm watching the economy and everything happening here. But here's the bottom line. Over the past five recessions in this country, mortgage rates have fallen an average of 1.8 percentage points from the peak to the trough, okay? In many cases, they continue to fall after the fact because it takes some time to turn things around, even when the recession is technically over. So interest rates moderating the market, right? We're seeing the frenzy in the market subside and we needed to see that. And as we look forward, to the economy slowing and recession, we can expect, you know, based on what we've seen in the past, these cycles to play out. You know, I think one of the one of the questions that starts to come up is, okay, nobody that we're doing business with really cares how many homes we sell in this country each year. Um, for the most part, they care about their home and they want to buy it right and they want to do it without hassles and all the things they care about. But we care about how's this market going to be? And I want to give you that information because I think it'll help a lot of us um, uh, in, in just understanding where we're at. And I'm going I'm to give you what I think is the best news in this market and what I would be saying to everybody I'm working with right now. But if we think about where, where we're going to end up in this year, there are very clear signs to show us that we are heading back to pre-pandemic levels of production. So this is a look at showing time. We use showing time on a national level to, to measure demand. And the gray bars there are you know going back to 2017. So 17, 18, and 19 in gray. That's a look at pre-pandemic demand. Then the blue is pan, you know the, the, the tremendous amount of pandemic uh, demand that came into the market is the meaning of home change. People said, we're going to move to a different city. They said, hey, a two and three quarter percent interest rate, we're going to buy right now. All the things we know, and we're coming off of those highs. You can see that the far right uh, green bar there is May. That's the most recent information we have in that area. But very clear signs saying we're going back to those levels of demand in this country. And I want to remind you of this. 2018, 2019 were very, very good years on business. We're coming off anomaly years. We're coming off years where, you know, things we haven't seen uh, in the business, you know, a lot of business packed into a couple of years um, and we're coming off of that. Not, you know, this is the, the old analogy that you know, you're flying down the highway at 120 miles an hour and you see an officer around the corner and you slow down maybe to 60 or 70 miles an hour, maybe you get below that and you feel like you're crawling along when you're actually doing the speed limit. And I think that same analogy applies to today's world and today's market. That, that is what, what we're facing in our business. You know, if we look at existing home sales, I think the same picture uh, is there. You know, it's 2017, 2018, 2019, existing home sales, five and a half, 5.3 million uh, homes sold in this country. We jump up during 2020 and 2021. And, and as of May and that annualized rate, certainly um, heading back into that, uh, into that range. And so I, I, my perspective that I would have in that is, you know, people that I'm working with, helping to educate them about what happened to the housing market during the pandemic. Because I, I think that is, is our job right now. Now, there, there is one thing that is happening that I wanna, I wanna give you a, a sort of a perspective on and what I would be doing right now. And I'm gonna wrap up here in just, just a couple of slides. But as interest rates have risen, they've moderated the estate market. The biggest thing that that has done is it's causing uh, inventory to rise. And I would start looking at inventory, you know, certainly locally, and I'll, I'll give you a, a sort of a, a way to do that. But if you look at forecast right now for inventory, this is from realtor.com, beginning of the year, they said there will be a 0.3%, let's call that nothing, uh, rise in inventory this year. Their updated forecast is 15%. So there are literally more homes coming in the market. And, and I'm going to argue here in just a minute, they're coming in at a faster pace. And, and here's what that, that starts to look like. For the last four months, we've seen active listings increase in the market. And you say, well, David, that's what happens every year during this time in the spring market. And I would agree with you and I understand that. 
But what the moderation in the market is doing is we're seeing that frenzy start to squelch and we're seeing, uh, you know, you know, inventory start to accumulate. The, the old analogy of sort of the bathtub, you know, the, the, the velocity of the market over the last few years has been very, very fast. There's been no inventory because when it comes on the market, it sells and it, you know, the bathtub, if you're filling it up, but you have the drain open at the bottom, it all flows through. Well, that drain's starting to get, you know, sort of not closed, but, but we're putting something over it where they're not flowing out of the bottom as quickly as possible. So very clear signs we're seeing more inventory accumulate in the market. Now I said, it's also coming in at a faster pace. Here's the proof of that. That's new listings coming to market in this country. Uh, last year as compared to this year, last year in green, this year in blue. And you can see the last three months, although slightly, we are seeing more inventory coming into the market. And, and I think that is a, uh, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for just a second. I think that's a, you know, sort of a byproduct of people that might think, did we miss out? Do, do we wanna go ahead and get our house in the market? Um, but we're seeing it accumulate in the market and we're seeing it come at a faster pace. Here's what I would be saying right now. And I think here's the reality of the market. This is a market that I'm not going to say is not much harder. It's much harder right now but it's not impossible. And there are people for the last couple of years that have looked at this real estate market and they've said, you know what, it's impossible for me to buy a home right now. I lost out on multiple offers. I lost out on you know, trying to get a home. I lost out on price. I lost out on whatever the case may be. And they gave up, right? What was the thing we were talking about you know, just a year ago, buyer fatigue. Folks that said, you know, we wanna buy a home, but we're getting frustrated with going out there and doing it. In my message right now, I'd call everybody that you talk to, everybody that's been looking to buy a home, and I would say now maybe the opportunity. No doubt, it costs more. I want to acknowledge that. I want to have that conversation. I want to be the expert in that conversation. But there is opportunity in this market where people in the past couple of years have felt like there isn't. So I'm going to pause on that. Um, grateful to be with all of you today. I want to hang around if there are questions. Uh, that you have, but I do believe we absolutely can be the expert in the market. You can reach out to me, you can reach out to any of us at Keeping Current Matters, because I want you to know we want to give you the information so that you can be the expert. So you can sit down with people and you can give them the confidence. And, and that confidence may be, hey, now is the right time for you, or that confidence might be your best advice to say, you know, now it's not the right time for you. More than anything, you know, if you're here in our office, we are in Richmond, Virginia. We got a big wall uh, in our office that says, we believe every family should feel confident when buying and selling a home. And that drives the work that we do. So I'm grateful for the invite, grateful to be with y'all today. And, um, and thank you for the opportunity to share a little bit of the message. Thank you so much, David. That was amazing. Uh, great information. Guys, I know that you can use it in your business. Speaking with your buyers and sellers, really moving that needle forward. So thank you so much, David. Really appreciate all the information. And uh, next, we have Frank Malpica. Uh, honored to always to have Frank with us, uh, Vice President of Strategic Growth uh, with uh, Realogy Expansion Brands or Anywhere Expansion Brands. Um, and Frank is going to talk to us about the top 10 ways to grow your business in any market. Frank, thank you so much for, for always being a champion for us and uh, a great support. And uh, I will turn it over to you. You should have sharing capabilities. And uh, again, thank you so much. Absolutely, uh, Elza, thank you. Can you just uh, give me confirmation that you can see my screen? You're perfect, perfect. Super, super. Uh, so thank you all for being here this morning. I, I mean, I've been taking copious notes, listening to Eddie before and, uh, David, just now, just a lot of really good information about the market. And I think there were a lot of common threads that, that, that I was picking up. And, um, you know, I'm, I'll move through some of my information a little more quickly because I was going to give you a little market update. But um, I, I don't want to continue with the econ lesson for, for everybody that's joining us this morning. I want to talk more about now that we understand where the market is, how do we take advantage of it, right? Um, where, where are the opportunities, as Eddie said, to pivot um, and, and really embrace what, what I would call is a gift, uh, the, the marketplace that we're moving into. And I'll tell you why I, 
I believe that's a gift uh, for, for one of a number of different reasons. A, um, you folks uh, on the call on the Zoom this morning, um, I, I just want to reinforce the fact that you are supported by one of the most incredible brokerage teams in the country. Uh, and I don't say that lightly. I, I'm very fortunate and I get to travel the country and meet and speak with um, lots of really successful broker owners, managers, and support teams. And the folks that, that you all have standing behind you, uh, propping you all up, focused on helping you building your businesses, um, is, is nothing to bat an eyelash at. Eddie, Lucinda, Elza, Mike, um, all of your support people uh, are absolutely phenomenal. And I think they are going to be a tremendous asset as this market continues to shift. The other thing that I would be thinking about if I were all of you <clears throat> is the last couple of years, I think we would all agree with this, has overinflated a lot of businesses, many egos. It's introduced a lot of new companies, certainly a whole tidal wave of new agents to our business. The reality of that is one of the data points that wasn't shared earlier is we believe there's about 250,000 agents that are going to be exiting the business over the course of the next 12 months. Now, we're sad to see those folks go, but for the balance of you all that we know are going to be in the business and thrive, what that means is there's a larger share of the business to take advantage of, right? Uh, David talked about new home starts, new listing starts, buyer intent. Um, that is all opportunity. It's just a matter of whether or not we are positioned appropriately and leaning forward to take advantage of, right? So with that, I am going to jump in here quickly. I talked about your company. I just want to give a little bit more context quickly because I'm so unbelievably impressed by everything that Eddie and the team have done over the years. You think about a platinum company for over 10 years, a Cardis Comp champion for all of the relocation business that, that you all do. Top 10 in AGC and units across our entire network. Um, if you think about outside of the numbers, and arguably even more important, a winner of the Circle of Light Award for three years, right? That's something that we do for our most charitable companies. Um, and, and I think that's a testament to, to your leadership team, that they truly care about you all and your community and are giving back. Gene Francis Memorial Award winners. Um, you have an incredible agent population. As you think about Todd Beckstrom, who I, we were talking about earlier today, just inducted as a 2019 Hall of Fame uh, award winner. And certainly Bobby Shealy, Distinctive Property Sapphire Award winner. And I could honestly, I could go on and on and on. It took more time to try and consolidate all of the wins that you all have had over the years um, than anything else. But, but I didn't want to lose the opportunity to remind you of just how fortunate you all are. Um, ERA, we've had an incredible year like everybody else. The brand and the business keeps growing. But again, I want to refocus our attention now on how do you take advantage of it? Because remember, last year, the last several years, we've had almost 6 million units, that 6 million homes that have come through our industry. That's more than ever, right? We also had about, as I said, 1.6, 1.7 million agents, 250,000 of which are leaving, which means there's a lot more upside available for all of you. Um, this uh, really friendly looking gentleman that I have up on the screen here, his name is W. Edward Deming. He's a mathematician, uh, an author, he was an NYU professor, um, and he's been quoted throughout the years, uh, generally by other people. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't heard his name. Uh, one of the smarter things that he said is that it's not necessary to change, survival isn't mandatory. Uh, and I tried to make that a little nicer and I made it success. But I want everybody to marinate on that for a second because the dot that I would connect here is, you know, I intentionally talked about this as leveraging smart innovations because when we say technology, all of a sudden you get this, people get this mental image of this dark figure cloaked in the corner that I should be fearful of, right? That somehow technology is this evil force that I should be fearful of. Um, when the reality is, Technology is pervasive throughout our lives, right? How many of you on your desk in front of you have a smartphone? Um, th this has more computing power than what it took to put the first men on the moon in the 60s, right? Technology. This is pervasive throughout our lives. You use it to get to the office if you're still driving to the office with your GPS, even though you know how to get home and you get to the office. Probably wakes you up in the morning as your alarm clock. We check it 
250 to 300 times a day. And it's a fantastic way for us to connect in a more meaningful way with our clients. We're going to talk about how, right? But this is technology. This is what we need to embrace because uh, Eddie talked about the Gathering of Eagles conference and I was fortunate enough to be able to speak there. Uh, and somebody had asked the question and they ask it all the time, will technology replace real estate agents? Uh, and I'm almost I'm always fascinated by this that we even still ask this question of will tech replace agents? Uh, clearly it will not. That said, agents who use technology well will replace agents that don't. And that's, that's the reality of our business. But again, think about technology from the perspective of what you're using throughout your daily lives. Um, all right, let's, let's, let's bring this back to your business. Um, interactive, you've got the chat window open. I can see some folks are already saying hi, which is great. Um, anybody know what this number represents? 397. If you're good at Pictionary, maybe this is jumping out for you. Um, you want to unmute, you can chat in. If you don't, I'm just going to spoil the surprise and tell you. Um, here. There, thank you, Eddie. Um, and, and you're absolutely right. It's the average size of an agent database, right? So all of us. If you're thinking to yourselves, well, I have a lot more than 400 contacts in my database, kudos to you. Um, but keep those numbers in mind for right now. 9.7%. And again, if you look at the shape, you'd likely surmise that this means 9.7% of your clients every year will move, right? So again, keeping the numbers in mind, what does that mean? That means 37 average transactions for any of you in the virtual room that have at least 400 clients in your, in your database. For those of you that are even higher, good news, that number is even higher. Um, now, bad news is, do you know what the average number of transactions are by agents? Not necessarily you all, because again, you have a disproportionate advantage with, with Eddie, Lucinda, and the team, but the average is seven, right? So I share that with you because the average agent is below average, right? There is tremendous opportunity if you lean into your support team, if you lean into the products and services that are being provided to you so that you can ultimately win more listings, capture and convert more buyers, referrals, and repeat business, which is what we're trying to do, right? That's the point of, of the conversation. So I want to talk about the ERA Big Ten, and I acknowledge the, the fact that most of you folks are SEC, and this is not my, my college uh, affinity here, so nobody freak out. I don't want to get any uh, angry, hateful IMs. This is just about the presentation. Um, but so we, we, and please don't tell the NCAA because the copyright infringement laws are pretty stringent. Um, we were also going to talk about not just product, but how does that product fit together? Because I, I, I think we've all suffered through this, this real estate world where we live in today, and there's just different products being thrown at us left and right, anything can be pulled off the shelf at any given time. And literally products are uh, expiring or you know, they're being reinvented on an average of every 120 days, right? So it's just lightning fast. It's almost impossible to keep up with. So I, I, I want us to pump the brakes for a second and think about the why behind it, because there should be a why. It shouldn't just be because. And what we're talking about here, everything that we're gonna talk about here is helping power this cycle that every one of you is thinking about. You may not realize it, but this is how your business should be managing, right? It should constantly be bringing in, obviously, new business. We should be capturing and converting more of that business more quickly. I should be helping my clients move into their new property because as I keep that relationship strong over time, I generate more referrals than repeat business. And then it should be rinse and repeat. Would we agree with that? oversimplifying the heck out of it and clearly going fast because I know we don't have a lot of time, but this is what we're driving at. And this is where all of those different products and services that we're just going to quickly, quickly touch on are pulled together to stitch this process. Okay. And again, chat windows open. If you have questions, feel free to chat them in, but I want to start with product number 10. Now, this is a little bit of a layup because again, you, you folks are honest the gold standard across our network as you think about mobile, and as you think about the product text DRA. But I want to reinforce because I heard Lucinda welcoming a lot of new people and Elza welcoming a lot of new people before. So 
If there's anyone in the room that is not familiar with text, I want to make sure you are today, because if you're not taking advantage of it, you are absolutely missing an opportunity, right? Text ERA, one, is enabled across your entire brokerage. You have that keyword that's built directly into your sign panels. I mean, it is being made as easy as possible on you all to activate this program, to generate, as you can see on the screen here, ridiculously high quality buyer leads. Now, I've heard many times people say, well, I put that yard sign in the ground and I don't get as many buyer leads as I want. Or, you know what, the program's not working because the only leads that I'm getting are all of those nosy neighbors that are texting that keyword because they won't want to see the inside of their neighbor's house or what are they selling their house for or all of that other information. What I hear when someone says that is the product is helping you prospect in your local market and you're capturing leads and information from all of the neighbors in your local market and you believe that's a failure of the technology. When in reality, is it common, and again, based on the, David, uh, the data David was just showing, is it often that when one person sells their home in a community that other people in that community begin to sell their home? And would it be valuable if we had the contact information of the other people that live in and around that community? Said differently, are you taking advantage of the text code as you're doing your listing presentations? Um, you know, Todd and I were having this conversation a couple of years ago where you all have demo codes that if you're sitting on a listing presentation, arguably most agents yourselves aside are saying the same things. We're gonna list your home online, we're gonna try to price it correctly and we're gonna get multiple offers and it's gonna sell. And that, albeit accurate, is not very compelling. If you can sit there and engage them in the conversation in that listing presentation, have them walk through and leverage the code that is provided to you from a listing presentation perspective, and they demonstrate and see the technology in action, and you're able to articulate, if I had a technology will alert me the moment someone is outside of your home and interested in your property, so I don't have to waste your time with a lot of online buyers that are likely not qualified for your home, would that be of interest? That consumer's interest is peaked and you're going to leave with the listing. And then at that point, whether or not it's generating buyer leads in front of your house is, is moot because it's helped you get that listing. I heard somebody, Lucinda, you were talking about someone had a, a billboard that we've just put up in the local market, which I think is awesome, PS. We've got agents in a lot of other markets that have set up their own keyword for their name, right? You can set up Lucinda, I mean, as long as you're Lucinda, um, a, a keyword, and that keyword can be on your billboard. You know, want more information about real estate? Text Lucinda to 35620. And that call to action that we were saying before, we didn't know how we were going to get, now you have. Right. So there's lots of ways for you to be leveraging these products outside of what's just being handed to you if you lean forward and take advantage of it. So number nine, um, would we all agree that what we see and what we hear, we remember more of? Right. I mean, that's that's just very intuitive, like exactly what we're doing right now. Um, that's what these data points are all saying. As, as, a, as an industry, as, as a generation of people, um, we've never been more drawn in by entertainment, video, and social media. At the same time, we all have the attention spans of guppies, right? <laughs> <laughs> Some of you tuned me out a while ago, and I'm not mad at you, I get it, right? But the, our consumers are unfortunately no different. And we need to be constantly reinventing the way we are trying to connect with them in order to be compelling. And if you think about the reach and opportunity that social media presents in conjunction with the value and conversion that we can get from video, I would absolutely be taking advantage of the automated suite that, again, is being provided for all of you. Every time a new listing comes in, we're creating a whole suite of videos for you. Now, those videos used to just go to your office page or they would go to the ERA Wilder Facebook page. Now they can go to every one of your individual pages, right? So Stephanie, after today, the note that I would be making for myself is that I would go to leverage into the social boost dashboard. I would connect my Facebook page, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all of these social media accounts 
So every time I get a new listing, every time I get an open house, every time that property has sold, a new video is being created on your behalf and pushed directly out to your social media platforms. Now that's doing one of a number of different things because as you can see, we've also added all of these fun animated GIFs and graphics. Now we do that back to my guppy reference. On social, if you think about the amount of time you have or said differently, the amount of time you don't have in order to capture someone's attention, it's around two to three seconds, shorter on some platforms, a little longer on others. As they're scrolling through their and they see how they're entertained, they see a beautiful property animated graphics are drawing in the home now. This is compelling. And that's the point of what we're trying to do here. Draw them off of those platforms into the websites that are being provided for all of you to capture more leads. Now, it's also a really great way to merchandise how you market your homes. Would we all agree that sellers, potential sellers, decide whether or not they're going to work with you based on how you've marketed past properties, right? We all know that that's the case. We know that they are, whether we have a relationship with them or not, they're stalking us online in advance of the conversation to determine whether or not they even want to talk to us and whether or not they're going to work with us. That's the realities. Now, having all of these videos, we know that properties are sitting online a lot faster or not as fast, pardon me, let's say that differently, are moving very quickly. Right? So they're not online as long, which means we're not as able to generate as many leads off of them as we once were. All of these videos now sit on your Facebook page. They sit on your Instagram page, on your YouTube channel, and become your video portfolio of how you market and represent your sellers. Something that you can use, again, on that listing presentation to help make you more compelling than the previous agent or the next agent that they're going to be interviewing. So again, think about it more than just what the product is, but how meaningful it can be to your business. Number eight, online reviews. Uh, so I, and, and I, I guarantee we're all this way, I would challenge you to think about the last decision that you made that wasn't swayed by an online review. Uh, a restaurant you went to, maybe a restaurant you picked on DoorDash or Grubhub, uh, shoes you bought, something on Amazon, anything on Google, right? Over 90% of all the decisions we make today are impacted by an online review. Now, in real estate, I would argue these are internet gold. And, you know, you all being a Jim Jackson uh, finalist several times and you, you folks take advantage advantage of the customer satisfaction survey, you have a treasure trove of content that you may not be taking advantage of, right? So all of those consumer reviews that are being captured for you, which PS is happening right now, right? So when those transactions close, we're reaching out to Betsy's clients on the buy and sell side and asking them, how was the transaction? And they are clearly saying you know, that Betsy was the best thing since sliced bread. She was unbelievably attentive across the entire transaction. I'd recommend her to everybody. But right now that review is sitting in a database somewhere and it's not working for her yet. So what we do for you now, again, completely automated, just like those videos, all you have to do is connect your social accounts in leverage. So that's the note that everybody's making right now. I need to go to leverage, then I need to go to social boost, and I need to connect my social accounts. Once I've done that, every time you get a five-star review, we're creating a new review card that's going right out onto your social media platforms with a link back to your website that's provided for you so that when people see that and see how an amazing Betsy is, they can get directly back to her website, right? Because we want to take your past clients and turn them into new leads, but you shouldn't all have to turn into administrative assistants, digital marketers, and social media marketers to do it. Would we agree with that? Right? So again, automation that is not asking you to do or wanting you to do something different than how we've managed our business historically. It's just helping you do it faster and easier, freeing up your time so that, I think Eddie said this before, you can focus on spoiling your clients. Because if you're not spoiling them, some other agent is trying to. Right? So how do we block and tackle and take some of those administrative things off your plate? Number seven, 
again, sticking with social because it's an incredibly important platform, we have two new products I want to talk to you about. And again, automated, right? That's the common theme. We're not asking you to do more. We're just trying to provide more for you. So here, every time you get a new sold property, we are going to do an automated advertising campaign on Facebook for you. A three-day free social media advertising campaign for every sold property, right? There's a price threshold. Um, so there's a possibility, um, Sully, that if you sell a property, you might get an email that says, we want to advertise 1010 Main Street in Columbia, South Carolina for you. Are you okay with that? Please click yes. And Sully's going to click yes. Like he's nodding, smiling, right? Once you do that, we advertise the property for you. All of those leads are captured and pushed directly back to you for that. Right? If you want to change the campaign, you want to run it longer, you can do all of it, but at minimum, take advantage of what we're just doing for you. Right? It's a great campaign to generate more leads. On the flip side, um, content marketing. Right? Those are probably the two big sides of social. You've got how do I build my brand and then how do I create more leads? There's a lot of crossover there too. But the ERA social tool um, if you've not used this yet and you're paying for something like a, a Hootsuite or Engage one-to-one -one or um, some of the other products that exist again on the landscape, I'd encourage you to take a look at this because we're piping the content in for you. You can connect all of your social accounts. You see there's lots of great infographics and information connecting local accounts uh, to make this very, very local to South Carolina. So a lot of really great content that you could take advantage of. And the why here is, is thus. A lot of people with social media don't treat this like you would treat a, a common social party or an event. Um, you know, if I were invited over to, to Eddie's house, I would never show up to the party and just start yelling as soon as I walk in the door and hope that everybody just pays attention to what it is I have to say. It's likely he would usher me to the door pretty quickly after that. Right? But yet, that's what most people do on social media. I just keep blasting content out there um, and not engaging with my clients. Let the tool push content out. So now that as I see, Eddie just had a grandson that was born. I can reach out to him and have a meaningful conversation. The tool is sending my content. I now free up my time to spoil my customers and talk to them and engage with them, right? But I can't do both at the same time. I certainly can't do it well. So whatever product or service you are going to use, think about it in those terms. That's what it should be doing for you. Okay. Number six. The next two products that I'm going to talk about, I wanna make sure everybody has the right frame of mind. Now, ERA has had the seller security plan since the mid eighties, right? So we were doing iBuying before iBuying was fashionable. Um, and we have brought forward real short which is an even accelerated program of that iBuy. Now, that said, this is simply an excuse for everyone in the virtual room to start advertising online, on social media, on my billboards, in any of the direct mail that I'm doing, that I can not only price market and sell your home, I can make you an offer on your home and buy it today. Call me and ask me how. This is 100% about getting emails to come in, texts to come in, and your phone to ring. This is a lead generation tool. It's something to give you something compelling to say at that listing presentation. Depending on your market, less than 2% of people even want their home bought by an iBuyer, right? So there's a high degree of probability they're going to say no. But again, if this got you in the door, and you got the listing, but they just didn't want to take the iBuyer offer, do you care? I, I promise you that our objective here is not to inventory homes across the United States and start buying properties all over the country. It is to give you a tool to help you compete in what we've already agreed is an incredibly competitive market for inventory. And that's what RealShore lets you do. Conversely, and I'll jump in to the other side of this. The number five product is the same thing. As you think about this statistic that 89% of homeowners 
renovated their home before they sold the property, before they upgraded, uh, upgraded the home before they sold the property. Almost 90% of people are either doing it or thinking about it. That same advertising pitch holds true for you. I can not only help you price, market, and sell your home, if you need to renovate it first, I will extend you the budget to do it. Call me and ask me how, right? We are simply trying to peak interest, break through the noise and clutter to get in the door. And then when you talk to that homeowner about the Real Vitalize program, they can elect to take advantage of this. And we have renovated thousands of properties, you know, minor renovations, countertops, paint, um, flooring, cabinetry, that type of stuff. Again, the objective here is not to renovate the United States. It's to give you a compelling program that sets you apart from the competition in your local market, that gives you something unique to say on a listing presentation so that you are more likely to lead with that listing. Again, that's what I hope you take from this. And as you can see, the program works extraordinarily well. Um, I think probably the most important thing to look at here are those second two data points. The more value we put into the property, the higher the property sells for, the higher your commissions. 63% cut in cancellations. Right, because once they list with you through the program, they have to agree to keep the property listed. Right? So there are just a whole host of benefits outside of obviously getting in there and getting the list. I ripped off the NCAA and now I'm ripping off Marvel um, for our top four product. And, and it is the Fantastic Four and it just essentially gave me an excuse to talk about MoxieWorks. Um, we could absolutely spend the next two hours talking about Moxie. So I'm not going to get very far under the hood here, especially because Eddie and, and Lucinda Ells and the team made sure that you guys were quite literally at the front of the line. Um, and, and that's not like a metaphor or a euph euphemism. You guys were actually at the front of the line. Um, you, uh, you had this product in advance of every one of the other companies in the entire Realogy system, anywhere system. Um, and if you think about the opportunity now that this product suite presents, I mean, anyone that you talk to in the industry, this is arguably the number one real estate technology suite in the country. It is extremely powerful um, and very flexible, but comes back to that point that I was making before. Even the best products that don't get used are useless, right? So lean into the regular education classes that I know your team is holding for you, the office hours that are made available to you, the support that is given to you so you can really take advantage of this system. Because you know, I'll just call your attention to Moxie Present by example, because uh, one, one of our, our top agents in Florida was telling me this story and I thought this was awesome. So we think about the idea of how do you create the business, not wait for it, right? Um, an excellent thing to do, and this is a note that I would take because I know all of you have access to this tool. I would go back through your client database and you could do that inside of Leverage, but go back through your client database, look for people that bought or sold homes from you in the last five to seven years. And for those clients alone, I want you to go into Moxie Present and do a CMA for their property for them. Now, I don't want you to email that to them. I don't want you to text it to them. I want you to video record yourself on Zoom or just with your phone, whatever it is, reading to them that CMA presentation, saying to Tony that, Tony, you may not be aware of this, but that home that I helped you buy five years ago is actually up 38%. Here's the new value of your home. Here's some of the other dynamics in your local market that you may not be aware of. If you want to have this conversation in person, just reach out to me and send them that quick 60-second video link. That agent that I was telling you about, now PS, everything that we just talked about, there's no cost associated with it. You're running a CMA, you're using your own clients, you're recording it on your smartphone and you're emailing or texting it over, right? So absolutely no cost. She is getting almost a 75% conversion of people responding to that, right? That is a phenomenal way to prospect with your client database with tools that you have access to today, have had access to. Right. So again, don't just think about what it is. Think about how you can really leverage it. Number three, the moves program. 
Um, again, if you think back to that, that, uh, that infographic that I was showing you earlier, that fly or infinity wheel of how do we carry it beyond the transaction, this is where true opportunity exists. And the last three products focus heavily on this point. How do we help generate or create an incredible experience for your clients so that they become raving fans of yours and generate more referrals and repeat business? That starts with removing the friction for what I think we would all agree is a horrible experience. Nobody likes to move, right? Through this program, you can do one of a number of different things completely automated for your clients. Save them money, save them time, and just overall make the process easier. Now, those communications carry right through the move itself, which is great, but then they continue on beyond the move. And the point there being, um, and I shamelessly parrot this statistic every opportunity I get, uh, the National Association of Realtors always says, and they do this data, the surveying every year, and this statistic has only climbed, it's gotten higher. Right? So the last time they did this survey, 90% of buyers and sellers said, I would absolutely work with Bradham again after the transaction, right? 90%. You want to hazard a guess how many people actually, not just Bradham, because we like Bradham, but how many people across the country on average work with their agent a second time? 11%. Somebody said it. Um, and somebody's obviously been paying attention. It is. It's 11%. 90% would, 11% do. That's shameful. It's embarrassing. And it's because we're overly focused on the windshield and we're not checking our mirrors. And those mirrors are our database. They're our client database, the people that we should be spoiling by keeping meaningful connections with and delivering value to. This program is one of the ones that helps us do that. And again, there's significant money to be saved for them. It's good for them over the course of the move and keeps you visible long after it in conjunction with this program, our buyer follow-up, right? So again, I think, and Lucinda, you keep me honest, I believe you folks may be enrolling um, folks for, for, for your agents. Yes, okay. yes. Right, so see my earlier comments why you have an amazing management team. You don't even have to worry about this. It's happening for you, but you should know what's happening for you. So if you think about the first four years after the transaction, we're doing two postcards a year and eight emails, right? Those are all focused on keeping you valuable and visible with your clients. They're also asking on your behalf for referrals. And any time that Lucinda says, yeah, I do know somebody that's, that's looking to buy or sell a home and she completes that form, you're getting a new lead. Right? So this is keeping you visible after the transaction and helping you generate more business long after the transaction. Make sure, if you're interested, go into Leverage. You can see all the communications that are going on your behalf to your clients so that you always know what they're seeing before they're seeing. Right, But just another great program to help try and close that gap, all leading back to and driving up to our newest product, that we are in the process of rolling out today, which is Simply Home. Um, I, I'll give you just a few seconds on this and then I'm gonna turn it back over to your management team. But essentially what we're doing here and the why behind this is, would we all agree that our real estate websites, search sites are only relevant to people a really small percentage of their lives, right? People are clearly not buying and selling homes every day. So they only go to our websites when they're in that period of time where they're selling their home or they're buying a home, right? And again, small percentage point. The balance of their lives when they're managing that valuable asset that you all have helped them buy, far larger, right? But we've never had a good way to stay in touch, meaningfully in touch with them in between those transactions. Now, there are things that we know people do. We know that they're scheduling service visits and service providers, painters, plumbers, electricians, uh, contractors. We know that they are trying to maintain their finances. They're, they're holding their documents from the transaction, their HUD statement, their sales contract somewhere. Um, we know that they care about the value of their home, right? They're looking at and they're going to platforms like HomeBot and, and others to see what is the value of my home, my debt to equity ratio, and all of these different things across all these different websites. Would we agree with that? 
right? So they're going to these places, but they're going to a lot of different places, none of which are ours, yours. So what we've done is we've taken all of those different behaviors, those different needs that the consumers have, and we blended it into one website, Simply Home, that you all and all of your clients are going to get access to that's branded and linked directly to you. So now that I, as your client, I don't have to go to 10 different sites now to do all of those different activities. I have all of that in one site. Um, and if I start exhibiting any behaviors of someone who is likely to be selling a home, meaning I start, I download my amortization schedule, I start checking mortgage rates, I start doing any one of the other 40 some odd triggers that are built into the system. Idiot, right? The system can also alert you and say, you know, Elza, you need to reach out to Frank because he's exhibiting all the behaviors yeah. that somebody asked about. Thanks so much. Uh, <laughs> yes. Thank you. Um, so, but again, that that is what's being introduced and what's being provided to all of you right now because we know it is essential. It is mission critical to help us create more long-term, more meaningful connections with our clients after the transaction. So we're generating more referrals and repeat business instead of being so over-reliant on all of those new leads. So with that said, thank you all so incredibly much for giving me your time. I know I went unbelievably fast, but I was trying to stay <laughs> within the confines of your schedule. Um, and I just appreciate all of you so much and hope to see you all uh, very soon. Thank Frank, you. thank you so much. As always, that was fabulous. And I'm just going to quickly put a, a, a parentheses around all of this. One of the things you're going to start hearing a lot about is, is making sure we're getting good data. Um, because without good data, we can't send these programs out on your behalf. So you will be hearing a lot of that. We've done an analysis of kind of uh, what kind of data we have in our system. And it's a little spotty at times. We might have somebody's email, but not their phone number, or we don't have a complete address. And, and, and that's that's all in the past where we're kind of shifting gears and we're making sure that on your behalf, we can do the very best marketing uh, for you possible. So when you hear about that, all of these tools rely on good information. So thank Frank, thank you very, very much. We can't tell you how much we appreciate you and value you. So thank you. Thank you. And again, thank you for the time this morning. Um, have a great afternoon, everybody. A great rest of your morning. You too. Hope to see you all soon. Thanks, Frank. Thank you, Eddie. All right, so listen there, are you up? Uh, no, this is Tony. Tony's going to um, talk a little bit about where we are with our uh, Plus Five initiative. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, we're uh, getting some great results from our uh, Plus Five Club. Everyone, just a quick reminder, Plus Five is uh, where we're trying to get everyone to do five more transactions than they did in 2021. Uh, and we've had, even though we're only halfway through the year, we've had some tremendous results. So uh, we have seven agents that have already obtained the plus five status, even though we're barely into July. So uh, I want to run through those seven real quick. Actually had one added yesterday, Michaela Smith in the Lake Murray office. Uh, she is now officially a plus five member. Uh, Robin Rivers in Lake Murray. Um, uh, Lucretia Griffin in our Santee office. Note on Le Lucretia, she is one transaction away from being plus 10 this year. So 10 transactions more than she did in all of last year. Now note, this is not year to date. This is uh, for the entire year of last year. She's already nine transactions ahead of what she did the entire year last year. Hannah Robinson in our Mount Pleasant office. Um, we got uh, uh, Ariana Reyes and Sumter, uh, who was an early, one of our very first plus five members, Molly Richardson in Sumter and Becky McLeod in Sumter. There's something going on over there in Sumter. So congratulations to you three as well. So again, we had a very late addition with Michaela Smith out of our Lake Murray office, who also is a plus five member. Real quick, we have a number of people who are only one transaction away. So July should see the number of plus five members grow. Sunny Hernandez in Lake Murray is 
is one away. Michael Lucas is one away. Cameron Queen is one away. And Mary Reams in the Northeast office is also one away. So we have a number of people that are one. And the list of agents that are two or three away is even longer than that. So great job to all you folks that have already achieved plus five status. Awesome. Thank you. Tony, if you can walk us through the next um, presentation. Eddie, unless you wanted to set this up at all. Um, Tony, you got it. Okay. All right, Tony, take it away. Very good. We're, we're so pleased to uh, announce and launch our new relationship with 210 Home Buyers Warranty. Um, we have a number of those folks on the call with us. All of you should have received some material uh, uh, drop shipped to your locations in the last few days. That's a preliminary drop. Those are kind of generic materials. We are having branded material, just like you can see on the screen here. That'll be along shortly. Uh, I know that Pam Hurt, the regional vice president for Tennessee, North Carolina, and South Carolina is on the call with us from uh, 210 Home Warranty. And Angela Mitchell, who is the uh, uh, account executive that handles Charleston and the coastal area, Pauly's Island uh, for 210, and then Jeremy Wills. I don't know if Jeremy's on the call with us or not, but Jeremy handles the uh, Columbia and Sumter area. You will be seeing these folks. They will be in our offices. They will be in our sales meetings, uh, but uh, wanted to introduce those folks and give them a chance to introduce themselves here. So uh, Pam, are you with us? I am. Thank you, Tony. Can you hear me, everybody? Yes, yes. ma'am. All right. Good morning. We are so excited to have this new partnership with ERA Wilder Realty, and I'm just thrilled to be working with you. Um, Jeremy um, did have to drop off the call. I apologize. He already had an 1130 training scheduled elsewhere, and so he sends his apologies that, that he had to jump off early, but I will put his contact information in the chat box so um, you all in the Columbia and Sumter area will have his information. Um, but we've been in business for over 40 plus years. We are an industry leader um, in protecting um, homeowners and their important investment. Um, I loved how Eddie started the meeting and he was talking about being a trusted advisor. Uh, that's really what we seek to do is to be trusted advisors with our realtors that we work with, um, to be a, a partner with you in your business and in growing your business and um, protecting your business. Um, we pay over 97.5% of all the claims that come into us every year. We pay over 97.5% of our claims, and that is one of the highest in the industry. If you want to go on to the next slide, I'm not sure if I have the capability to advance it or not. But just a few things about us, um, just some benefits of working with us is we have the most comprehensive HVAC coverage in the industry. I know we all realize how important that is in July, right? <laughs> so, um, but we really have great HVAC coverage. We have complimentary marketing materials that are available to you, our agents that work with us. And um, we really seek to protect the budgets of our homeowners, help um, be a risk management tool for them, manage their financial risk and bring added value with our happy home lock and hardware program, our military discount, our appliance discount, uh, in addition to the budget protection that we provide when they have those unexpected breakdowns. Um, Tony had wanted me to show you um, very quickly um, how easy it is to enroll a warranty with us. Uh, we have our agent portal and I'm going to share my screen. That's okay. And bring up the agent portal for you. So you can see that real quick. Is everybody seeing the agent portal? Yes. Yes. Great. So um, you'll um, when you go to the 2-10.com slash agent, this is where you'll land. And um, you'll you'll go first here to not registered yet, sign up here, and that'll take you to create your account. But since I already have one, I will just sign in real quick. And this big green button, you can't miss it, is where you go to enroll a home warranty, whether it's listing coverage or buyer coverage. Um, you can enroll that there. This middle tab here up at the top says My Marketing Tools. You would just click on that. 
And uh, you have the ability to personalize these marketing materials. So you would just upload your logo, um, your photo to um, your account page here, and that will personalize our newsletter that goes up the first of every month. And that's free for you to download it and email it out to your sphere. We have some agents that print them and put them out in the neighborhoods that they're farming, whatever you want to do with it. But that goes up the first of every month. We also have a maintenance guide, an open house toolkit, and various materials like that. Um, also on the right hand side here is our client management tools. And you would just click on your client dashboard. And it would show you any clients that you've had enrolled in the warranty that have placed a claim with us and then where we are in the claim process. So I know a lot of times that you are looking for a reason to reach out to your clients. And so you can always check your dashboard here, um, see if they have any claims in process or had a recent claim and call and follow up with them, see how it went. Um, just gives you another touch point um, for you on that. So I um, just wanted to give you that quick overview and I would love for Angela, she's still on the call, to introduce herself to you very quickly. Um, but again, we are very excited to have this new partnership with you guys. And Angela and Jeremy will be scheduling meetings and trainings in your offices and look forward to meeting you guys in person very soon. Hey guys, I'm Angela Mitchell with 210 Home Buyers Warranty. Um, I've actually got a couple of office meetings already scheduled with you, um, but for the agents, um, you know, that don't want to wait, I think my first one is August 8th, so I do free one-on-ones, so I am happy to come to you and meet with you to look at Agent Portal or talk about um, 210. Uh, as mentioned, I'm going to be in the Charleston, Mount Pleasant, Somerville, Polly's Island, and, or if you expand, I actually am local-ish. I live in Myrtle Beach, so I'm not too far from you. Um, I'll be at CTAR. So if you guys, if any of you are going to be at that event next week, please come and say hello. I'd love to see your faces live and in person. Um, I'm super excited. I put my contact information in the chat. Um, don't be shy. I'm not. And um, I look forward to being on your team. Thank you. Thank all of you. I, I wanted to real quick uh, draw you everyone's attention. Part of the material that was drop shipped into the agents yesterday was a really neat program that they have that I don't think that we had access to with a previous uh, partner in this uh, arena. They have a, uh, it's a, a one page thing that explains their monthly pay option. This is really neat, especially in this market where it's really hard to get sellers to, to pay for a warranty for the buyers. This option doesn't put the burden of that entire payment on the buyer all at one time. They're able to split it up into very manageable uh, monthly payments. So it still gives the, uh, the buyer an option to buy themselves a warranty without several hundred dollars of added closing cost at the table. So uh, we've not had this sort of program before. This is a great program. If you have any other questions about it, reach out to one of the reps here on the uh, call. Awesome. Thanks, team. Appreciate it very much. Um, Eddie and Brad, and we have one more introduction to make, and then we have one other item of housekeeping after that. So um, I'll just turn it over to you guys. All right. Well, um, I'll, I'll take it and run with it. Um, I'll be short and sweet since we're already up on an hour and a half. Uh, we have um, another partnership and, or some exciting news to share with you. Um, you know, over the past 12 months, we really look for tools, services, and products and partners to help you grow your business and help you do more deals. Um, I know there's been a lot of questions about our mortgage relationship over the past 12 months. So, uh, you know, I'm excited to uh, share with you all that we have a new partner with Streamline Home Loans. Um, if uh, There's two handsome gentlemen on the call with us today, uh, one being Julio Vega, who's going to be the area manager out of the Charleston area. And then we have Marnie Moore out of Columbia. And uh, Columbia's, uh, uh, Marnie's uh, actually housed out of the uh, Divine Street location. So you'll be seeing a lot more of these guys in the next coming weeks. And uh, also with their loan officers uh, coming to your offices and participating in 
uh, in your weekly meetings or your monthly meetings. Uh, you know, we're really excited about Streamline uh, and their ability to be flexible with what type of loans they can offer. Um, again, our, our goal is to help you close more loans. So, you know, we want to hear from you all on what type of products, uh, whether it's a new construction or a lot loan. I uh, can't promise that we can do all of them, but we'd love to have your input and see if we can't make those products available to you. Uh, again, we're, we're really excited about uh, their ability to cater to your needs. So again, in the next week or two, we'll be sending out a survey uh, asking questions, you know, what do you need in your business to help you close more deals and, uh, and to grow your business? Again, uh, uh, Julio and Marty will be introducing themselves to, market, or to the markets over the next coming weeks. So please let us know if you have any questions uh, about Streamline or anything that they may uh, provide for you. Awesome. Thank you, Brad. That's awesome. Go ahead, Lucinda. I was just going to say we are also putting all of their contact information in our roster that'll come out tomorrow. So you will just look for that roster. Kristen's going to update it for us. And um, Eddie, I know you're going to close this out, but I wanted to do one other thing before we sure. did that. You good? Yep. So would everyone please unmute? I know that's rare, but if everyone will just take a second and unmute. We have one song to sing before we uh, leave, and it's it's happy birthday to Mr. Eddie Wilde. <laughs> I hid this slide from you when I sent you the PowerPoint, Eddie, but um, so that's why I needed you guys oh, to unmute. Don't, don't make me do this by myself. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Happy birthday. Recorded. That's right. I was just going to say, Casey, did you record that? Please say I was it. caught off guard, but it was being recorded, right? Was it also recording? Eddie, I've got it all. <laughs> yeah. That is that is one for the books. That is is the worst song I've ever heard. <laughs> but Eddie, we love you. We thank you for your vision and your leadership and your passion. And we know that you love all of us and that you care about us. We know it, we feel it every single day. So thank you for, for just a, a wonderful ride and taking us into the future and looking ahead for us and always thinking about what's most important for every one of us. So happy birthday. Sorry about that song. <laughs> yes, uh, that, that was almost, that was unique. Um, <laughs> That was better than 10 years ago when they put me in a Carolina uh, jersey too small and a Rastafarian hat. So, uh, yeah. I have a picture of that. Yes, yes, yes. Well, guys, I do love you, and I do thank you for that. And, uh, you know, I, I, you are my family. You know, you, you know, you, I have my immediate family, but you guys are just as close, and I have so many amazing relationships here, and I, I thank you for your kindness. And right. um, please save a little bit of money for singing lessons. So uh, it's uh, – that was pretty bad, uh, but I love you. Yeah, we're, guys, we're at mid-year. Let's close out here with a mid-year conversation. You know, will you own your space? Are you ready for it? I hope you are because it can be such a good time. And thank thank you to Keeping Current Matters. Thank you to Frank. Thank you to Bradham. Yeah, we are, we're so excited about the new Streamline relationship and the 210 warranty. We're making some moves that really, I think, will make, make a difference. And, you know, sometimes it's just the little things that make all the difference in the world. Uh, we're excited about the input we get to have with both of these companies and how we can actually put more business in your door. I'm going to give you a couple bullet items here. Please, as you look at your business going forward and take a minute today and decide whether you want a job or a business, we'll help you build, a, we'll help you with a job. We can really help you with your business. And we have all the tools and all the desire and all the passion to make it happen. Congratulations to our plus fives. That's amazing. Guys, if everybody signed up for plus five and we hit that goal, we would add $8 million more commission in our company, $8 million more paid to our agents. I, there's nothing that would make me any happier. Next thing is, what is your message? What are you telling people? What do they hear from your voice? What is your temperament? Are you calm? Are you strong? Are you determined? 
Are you factual? Next thing is we are better together. When I watch you guys come together, you know, I, I think of what uh, Renee Williams and Samantha Crowder have done together. Two ladies coming from completely different markets. They lean on each other. They lean into each other. Both of their businesses are booming because of it. And I see it over and over again, how you guys reach out to each other and encourage each other coming forward. I see special things that are going on in the Northeast. See what Betsy is doing down their office in Sumter and on and on. Um, so we are better together. Um, I love the statement Frank made. It says, you know, technology won't, you know, drive your business, but those agents who don't use technology will get left behind by the ones that do. And we're, we're poised to tee you up. Elza and Casey and, and Lucinda and myself are so excited about making you the best of the best, giving you that little advantage that you, you know, I remember a guy scoring a touchdown on me one time and he was two tenths of a second faster than me. And it looked like he was 20 miles an hour faster. So, Put in that, put in that extra, extra speed in your game. Use the tools. Um, you know, get ready to leverage these new opportunities. Streamline's going to bring us some really cool tools that we have not had access before. It also gives us a seat at the table to to ask more. We have more opportunities in that, so we're very excited with that. I'm going to leave one other thought or two other thoughts with you. Um, if you went in, Frank gave you a number of 397. If that's 397 people in our sphere, if we would load, each agent would load 397 in that sphere and we went in and we didn't get the 9%, we got half of that. If we got half of that, that would be $20 million more commission with the same team. There's nothing that would make me happier. There's, you know, I would listen to you sing again for, 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 for $20 million, that's 3,000 more transactions. Think about the reality of that. Think about what that does to change your life. Think about that, what that does to change for your retirement, your family, your, your future, your kids' education. You know, um, it, it could be a beautiful thing. Um, I will put another little carrot in your, in your head. Um, we, I've loved keeping current matters forever. Um, Todd Beck from one of our own Hall of Famer, um, he, I don't know if he's still doing it, but I know over the past, he used to do a state of the lake address and keeping current matters anchored that program. It gave him all the stats, all the numbers, all the information at his fingertips that were nationally publicized and, and brought lots of strength to that meeting. Imagine if we did a, a state of, the, of Somerville, state of James Island, state of Charleston, state of Mount Pleasant, eight or 10 of you come together. And I used to love it because Todd invited his competitors. You know, his competitor would come sit in the room with their customers in the room with Todd because people want to know what's going on. And keeping current matters has always been an industry leader for us to tell us what's going on and how to actually put it in front of people in real live numbers. And the last thing is, I love you. Thank you for my partnership. It means an awful lot to me. So have a blessed day. Thank you so much for giving me an hour, ooh, an hour and 40 minutes. You're, you're fantastic. Uh, but I think it was worth it. And I thank you for being my partner. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Have a great day. Ah, thank you. Bye. Have a great, blessed week.